Hello and welcome to this TenderPoz tutorial on setting up your POS88 Wi-Fi printer. In order to do so, we're going to go ahead and confirm that we have power plugged in the back and that we have a green light on our printer. Now, before we do anything, we need to turn the printer off by pressing the power button. Once the printer is completely off and our power light has disappeared, we want to do a self-test to confirm whether or not we are on our factory settings. In order to do so, we're going to go ahead and press on our feed button over here. We're going to keep this held down. We're not going to let go and we're going to press and keep our power button held down. We're not going to let go. This is going to print off a self-test page and this is going to tell me what Wi-Fi am I connected to. If it is anything other than POS Wi-Fi, we must factory reset the printer. In order to do so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to press our power button five times quickly. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll see that our printer is now going to beep at us. This is telling us that it has been reset. If it doesn't beep at you and it just turns off, then we've done it incorrectly. So let us go ahead now and we're going to go and connect to the printer and connect it to our Wi-Fi network. To do so, we're going to open up any Android or iPhone or Windows device that has Wi-Fi. We're going to go to network. We're going to go to Wi-Fi. And we're going to go and find our Wi-Fi that we want to be connected to. In this case here, it's the POS Wi-Fi E891. Your printer might vary as long as it's POS Wi-Fi dash something. That is what we're looking for. In order to connect to that network, the password is 12345678. So now that we're connected to that printer, we're going to go and open up our web browser. And we're going to head over to the following address in the browser bar at the top of the screen. That's 192.168.1.1. Once we've gone through, it's going to take us through to the printer Wi-Fi page. If we do not get through to this page, confirm the IP address and confirm that we are connected to the network. On the left hand side, we're going to head over to settings. And in settings, there are three very, very important things we must do. Change AP to STA. If you don't do this, it will not work. If you forget to change this, but change the Wi-Fi name, it's going to add E981 or whatever your printer is on the end of your Wi-Fi name. So in my case, we are connecting to Mac Wi-Fi. I have a W in my Wi-Fi, a capitalized W. This needs to be exactly the same as it is on yours. And then we're going to go ahead and put the password in. My password is all lowercase, so I'm going to confirm that I'm all lowercase. And then I'm going to connect. Once I've hit all of my details, it is very important that when we press submit, we press reset. If we do not press reset and we do not see the light turn off, we have done this incorrectly. So how do we confirm that we are now connected to our Wi-Fi? Let's turn our printer off. Then let's hold our feed button in, keep it held down, hold down the feed button, keep it held in as well. It's now going to print out our test page, but more importantly, it's going to connect two more pages. One that says connecting and another that says it's connected. If it says connecting, but you don't get the third slip, you are not on your Wi-Fi. Reset the printer and start from the beginning. If you have any issues, reach out to our team. Thank you very much.